Shalom, Kahala Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kapadash, double honors my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect who the house of David be born again in this generation. And Shalom to the one third Yashem Rala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage were known as and still are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about who the heck cares about the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. Now, I'm going to tell you who cares. Right? Most importantly, it's God Almighty, right? the highest power in the universe. Okay? The God of the Bible, right? the Holy Father, right? whose true Hebrew name is Yahweh. Okay? It's not Jehovah, it's not, uh, you know, Yehovah, it's Yahweh, right? That's Hebrew for He is. Right? This is the name given to Moses on Mount Sinai, which would be declared to all of His children throughout all generations for all times, as He said unto Moses, okay? Right? So this is who cares about who the heck are the 12 tribes of Israel, right? Now, who else cares about that? Well, the Messiah, right? Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, whose true Hebrew name is Yahweh Shai, okay? Yahweh Shai is ancient Hebrew for He is salvation. Now, the world has been ignorantly misled into believing that the Father and the Son are one, and that both of them are pale, pale skinned, blue eyed, blonde haired devils, man. Right? But that's not the truth. The truth is, is that the Father and the Son are separate. Okay, they are not the same. That them being the same is an old Babylonian pagan belief, which was melded together during the, the, the Roman Vatican, uh, you know, period. Okay, their true image is more akin to what you're looking at now. Okay, they are both what you would call so-called black men. Okay, now these men or these you know, beings are, are not only are they in control of the entire universe and existence, but they have a particular people, okay? They have a people that they have chosen upon the face of the earth that they want to see succeed and ultimately rule the world, right? And those people are... 12 tribes of Israel. Now, don't take my word for it. Let's take the word, the word of the Lord uh, for, for, for the proof, right? And that can be found in Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It says, For thou art a holy people unto Yahweh Bashim Shai, thy power. Yahweh Bashim Shai, thy power, hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth okay now this is actually in the bible right the lord himself has chosen a particular group of people okay and you know this isn't something that is just found in the old testament this is all throughout the entire bible the old testament the apocrypha and also the New Testament, okay? You see, the world, in being misled, and one of the things that the world has been misled is, is that the Lord is here to save everybody, right? The Lord is going to save everybody. Well, He is not going to save everybody, right? He is only going to save a particular uh, people, right? And out of that particular people, being the Israelites, the Negro, the Native Indians, 
is only going to save one out of every three Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, and anybody whose father's lineage goes back to that line. Right? Because again, though we say that the 12 tribes of Israel are made up of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, you also have what is known as confusion of face Israelites or you know uh, Israelite foreigners. Right? These would be people uh, who descend from their father's lineage and their father would be somebody of that goes back to one of these 12 tribes lineage right because throughout our captivity throughout the the spreading and diaspora right as it's said in greek the the the, the diaspora of our people being spread into the four corners of the earth earth our people have slept with and procreated and had babies with all the other nations of the world, right? Including our enemies, right? Which technically are all the other 17 nations, but primarily the so-called, uh, you know, Caucasian race, the Edomites, right? This means that as long as that male lineage line has, you know, stayed intact and that the father has always been of, of, you know, a descendant of one of these 12 tribes, that child would be an Israelite, right? No matter how they look, right? It tells you in the book of Revelations that there's going to be a peaceable multitude that, you know, of all nations, that, that, that of all tongues, right? And that's because the Israelites at the end time, which we are living in, we have been mixed within all the nations, okay? There are 18 nations in the world, right? The 195 nations recognized by the UN today all go back to the 18 nations uh, described in Genesis chapter 10, okay? Now, this nation of people predominantly um, are, are centered around these 12 nations which have been identified today by the, the apostles and prophets of the Lord, okay? Now, if, if you wanna get into how these tribes were found and everything, ultimately it goes into uh, biblical blessings and prophecies that that were told, that are told in the Bible that explain who the, you know, what the descendants of each one of these tribes would be, would be doing in the last days. This is how you could identify who these uh, 12 tribes are today okay and uh, and also too you just got historical records archaeology and and uh, you know everything anthropology in general proves that these particular races are the specific people of the Bible okay now that's a whole other lesson for another time and also I'm sure if you go online you'll type in 12 tribes of Israel you'll find the explanation and breakdowns of every tribe right this is things that we have gone over time and time again. But again, ultimately, back to the, the main narrative of this lesson, right? Who the heck cares about the 12 tribes, right? Well, like I just covered, right? The Most High and His Son does, right? And not only, uh, you know, do they care, but a lot of other people care, right? People who care about righteousness in this world care about who these people are. And why is that? Well, because when the righteous are in power, the, the, the world will, will rejoice. And when the wicked are in rulership, which is what's happening now, right? The wicked are in rulership, the earth mourns, right? Once the 12 tribes of Israel have been set up as rulers of this world, along with the Messiah, it will be heaven on earth, you know, namely for the 12 tribes of Israel, right? The Israelites. And then after the thousand years of, uh, of bondage that the other nations are going to gonna have to, you know, pay for restitution, right? Then it will be heaven upon earth for them too. Even though they will be serving, you know, the 12 tribes, you know, they will, you know, uh, love it here on earth because things are going to be done righteously and fair, right? Fair and righteous is, is what the Lord is bringing to the world. 
right? And in doing so, he will get rid of the wicked seed, which is the Edomites, right? The so-called Caucasian race. After the thousand years of bondage, they that seed line will be done away with, okay? And and the earth will go on to know nothing but peace and and prosperity, right? And this is foretold in Psalms 37 and 11, right? He says, but the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in abundance of peace, right? That meek is talking about the Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, the people who are on the bottom of this world, though we are the ones who make this world, you know, do what it does, okay? We are the entertainers, we are the inventors, we are the powerhouses of energy, right? We are the people who, who for the most part, have the, the spirit of the Lord, right? We are that special people described in Deuteronomy that I just read to you, right? And, and, and there's a reason why that is, right? There's a reason why we are a particularly special people upon the earth, like right? why we could dance better, why we could sing better, why we could outperform other nations, right? It's because of this, right? I said, this is Job 2 and 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am Yahweh Bashinashai, your power and none else my people shall never be ashamed, right? When it says here in the midst of Israel, this Israel here is talking about the Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, right? The Lord has a special spirit upon us Israelites, right? This is why we are different than the other 17 nations upon the earth, right? This is just why we, we you know, we vibe differently but we vibe perfectly with each other, right? This is why you always see Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians always hanging out with each other, always living around each other, always being persecuted together, right? It's because we are that lost, uh, you know, that lost race that, that the earth of today has sought to destroy, right? That is us. Now, this is another reason why you should care about who the 12 tribes of Israel is, right? And, and, and that's because, you know, for one, it's truth. That, you know, it's the simple truth, okay? This is the, 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 the narrative which was set upon the earth since the beginning, okay? Now, what we are living in now is simply a, a false narrative, a narrative that has been set up by the enemy of the earth, not only our enemy, the Israelites' enemy, but the enemy of the entire earth, right, has set up a lie which we are all living in right now. And right now, the world is in chaos because we are living through the downfall and the destruction of this false narrative that these devils have set up. And the reason why you're seeing uh, such force and, and impetus coming to, to, to push forward this new world agenda Right? And to kill off so many people is because these devils know that their time is up. They understand that the world is waking up to the biggest fraud implicated upon the human race ever. Right, And they know that they're going to have to pay for the wickedness. Not only to the, the, the mass majority of the world out there, but to the High Holy Father, right, Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai, because they themselves are actually coming back. And what people refer to as the second coming of Christ or what the world has, you know, ignorantly been led to believe or call an alien invasion, right? That is what we will see. This is why you're seeing a, a space race going on now, right? This is why you're seeing all the nations trying to get into space. This is why America is building a space force. This is why they're, they're basically militarizing uh, outer space right now is because there's literally going to be a war in heaven war and space and the great thing is that we are going to experience that in our lifetime we are going to see that you know sooner than later i'm pretty sure right and not only that but for us negroes latinos native indians wait we're you know that's going to be our that's our our uh, 
knight in shining armor that's going to come to save us, man, right? Because you see what's technically happening, man, is that, you know, in the movies where you have a bad guy who, who stole or kidnapped the, the princess and he has taken her back to his lair and stuff like that, and, you know, he has her all bound up and tortured, right? And then you've got the, the, the hero who's going to bust into his, you know, the, the evil man's, you know, fortress and, and, dis and kill off that bad guy and save the save the, uh, the the damsel in distress, right? The princess. That's us. That's the story of us Israelites, the Negro, Latinos, Native Indians. Because again, the Bible makes it very clear that the Lord likens the nation of Israel onto a comely woman, right? The 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 bride, right? And who is the bridegroom? Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, right? He um, he is a counterpart to us, okay? Right, so that is is how it works. Now, let's go ahead and read what's going to happen to not only that villain who has taken the, the the princess, right, Israel, the nation of Israel, hostage, but to all his his group of bandits, right, these other nations, right, the Arabs, the true Africans, the Hamites, the Egyptians, everybody who had. You know, had a hand in, in in burying our true heritage, right? And basically, you know, keeping us in bondage, right? And not telling us who we were, even though they understood that we were the true Israelites, right? Let's find out, you know, what what's gonna happen with them, right? This is Zechariah two and eight. For thus saith the Yahweh of of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that touches the eye, touches you, touches the apple of his eye. All right. So that's like basically saying, man, like you know, the people who have treated the, the twelve tribes of Israel, us the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, right? The, the the other nations out there who have have you know enslaved us, who have you know berated us, you know treated us less than human, who have you know, used our labor, but, but, you know, made no account of, right? You know, all of these other nations, you know, by doing this to us, it's like as if they, they stuck their finger in the Lord's eye, man. Like, try to poke his eye out, man. What do you think the Lord's going to do to those nations, man? Well, he's going to destroy those nations, man. He's going to put them into severe bondage, man. He is going to, to, well, you, you know, I, I, I am not going to go into... The, the minutia of what the Lord is going to actually do to every nation. It's spelled out in the Bible, man. Just read the book of Obadiah, right? If you want to hear the, the, the love letter that the Lord made specifically for the Caucasian race, right? And go ahead and read uh, 2 Ezra's uh, chapter 16 if you want to hear what he's going to do to the, the Chinese race, right? The, the tribe of Moab, right? And, and there's so many other nations that, that uh, are, are mentioned to be destroyed. The Ethiopians, the Arabs, the the, the Hamites, right? The, you know, all these other nations had it coming to them, man, right? Because why? Because the Lord ultimately, though he has casted us away for, for our insolence, for, for us going away and, and, you know, not following our, you know, you know, our commandments, which we made with the Lord, he's going to ultimately forgive us, right? And that's what he's doing now. He's forgiving providing mercy unto us Israelites, right? This is Isaiah 14 and 1. For Yahweh Bashim Ashai will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, right? And when it says Jacob here, it's talking, it's another, you know, name for us Israelites, right? Because remember, our forefather Jacob, his name was changed to Israel, right? So when when you say Jacob or Israel, that's basically synonymous for also uh, his descendants, okay? That being us, Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians, right? So the Lord, he will ultimately, you know, at the end of all this, though he he may be seeming to be blessing these Caucasians or these Chinese right now with their empire growing. Right or the other nations who are who have gotten all these riches throughout history, 
right? Ultimately, he's going to, to choose us and have mercy upon us Israelites and punish the rest of the world, right? And, and this is very evident, man, right? A lot of people, uh, you know, I, I tell them, you know, when, if you want to find out who ultimately is going to win at the end of this, or who is going to make it into heaven, right? Which, again, heaven is not some, you know, clouds in the sky where you're floating around with wings and, and hearts. No, man, heaven is a state of, of being, man. It's a state of rulership, right? So when I tell, the, you know, when people say, oh, everybody's going to be in, in, in heaven. Well, that's technically true. Everybody's going to be on earth, right? But the only people who are going to be in a state of heaven are going to be the 12 tribes of Israel. And you can read that in what I'm going to read right now, uh, the end of the Bible, right? Uh, Revelations 21, right? The, the, the Bible ends on Revelation 22, but Revelation 21 pretty much sums up who heaven is for, right? Let's go and read that now. Let's read, let's start from here. This, uh, this is uh, Revelations chapter 21, verse 5. And he, and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is Arturus of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death, right? And this right here is just talking about uh, the lake of fire is ultimately going to be America, uh, completely engulfed in flames, right? Because of the second death, which is ultimately going to be the thermonuclear uh, crescendo, right? The, the war that is going to be, you know, ended with these nuclear missiles being uh, shot off and landing here in America, right? That is second death right just as the first death was the flood which flooded the world and the lord cleansed the earth with water well the second death is going to be the lord cleansing the earth with fire right just as he did in the book of, i think it was kings where he, he commanded the israelites who had gotten the spoils to cleanse their spoils first with water and that which could could bury the fire he said you know uh, cleanse it with fire he's doing the same thing with the earth people right now let's continue and there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the lamb's wife. Right? And the bride, remember I was telling you who the bride is? That's the Israelites. That's the nation of Israel. right? And the lamb uh, is the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, right? the lamb's wife, right? So let's see what he, who are who is the angel going to show John, right? He says, verse 10, And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, right? And when he says holy Jerusalem descending out of heaven from God, this is talking about the Israelites, the one-third of, Plus the 144,000 Israelites that were taken up into that will be taken up into space on these chariots, right? The so-called UFOs to be saved from the destruction upon the earth, and will be changed, given new bodies, and will come and will and will after all the destruction will descend back down to earth in their godlike state. Okay, descending out of the heaven, out of heaven from God having the glory of God, and her light was like unto the stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, right? So we're going to be in, in a beautiful godlike state, man. We're going to have those spiritual bodies, man. Just as Yahweh Shai 
after he had he was resurrected, right? He had that body, right? He, you know, that's how we're going to be, man. We're going to have these these bodies which are going to allow us to do these amazing godlike things, man. All right? Let's continue. And this is the key. And had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates were twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Right, there you go. This ultimately is why you should give a heck about who the 12 tribes of Israel are, right? Because if you are a Negro, Latino, Native Indian, this could be you. If you are part of the chosen, right? If you are part of the elect or the hundred and four or the one third of Israel that will be chosen to be saved out of this, you have a chance to, to not only restart humanity, but to be part of the, the, the godlike powers that will be judging and ruling over the earth, right? But on to, to that, I said, you know, I read this. This is Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Right? And what is that refreshing? That refreshing is when the earth shall be made anew, as, it, as I just read in Revelation, right? When the world will be cleansed with fire, when all the elements shall burn with fervent heat and, and the, 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 the filth, the pollution, all that will be done away with and the Lord will, will basically refresh the earth, right? Not only will he refresh the earth, but he's going to also refresh us Israelites. He's going to give us those godlike bodies again, right? We're going to be those powers, right? So when it tells you in Genesis 6 that the, the angels that fell from heaven, were, that was us. That was us. In a in a in an angel-like state where it said the angels that kept not their first estate, well we're gonna be we're gonna be put back in that heaven-like estate, people. Right? For refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, and he shall send Yahushai the Mashiach, which before was preached unto you, right? Just as he's being preached unto you today, right? That the Messiah, his true name is Yahushai. Right? He's the only begotten son of, of the Most High Father, Yahweh. He, he died for the sins of the nation of Israel, right? To redeem us back so we could come back to the Father and, and be his people again, man. Right? That's the truth. That is the truth that that the gospel is talking about, man. Right? That you Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians who have been trodden down and, and, and treated like the mire of the streets, you are the, the holy people of the Lord, man. This is and this is ultimately the punishment that we are living out because we went against the Lord's judgment. Okay. Verse 21. Whom the heavens must receive until the times of restitution of all things. Right? And that restitution of all things is about to happen, people, with the second coming of the Messiah, right? We are about to receive our true reparations, right? Not only are the are the so-called Negroes going to get the reparations, but also the Latinos and the Native Indians. We're also going to get our reparations, man. We're going to get our reward for going through all this, this wickedness that we were made to go through, right? Which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began, right? And see that? This shows you that even in the Old Testament, this was what was being spoken about. And also, this is what... The, the, some of the prophets had seen when it, when it tells you that Moses had seen everything Moses seen this man Moses understood what was going on he understood what we were going to have to go through and now this is us here at the end of that long journey right we are now here you know working the great commission to tell our people the Negro Latino Native Indians that we're about to be returned onto the our father right and put back in our heaven like state man in our God like bodies Right, those of the 144,000 elect and the one third of Israel, us who have repented, right? Verse 22: For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God 
raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me, him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Right? See, this is right here showing you that the Lord ultimately, he's going to give his message not through the clouds. You're not going to hear this big bell close, you know, voice coming down talking about my son, turn to me. No, that doesn't work. That's all movies and stuff, right? The Lord speaks through people, right? He speaks through the men that he has set up, right? And those men are going to be speaking uh, from the Bible, right? And because those men are going to understand how to take the scriptures, how to take the word of the Lord and put it together, right? Just like a big jigsaw puzzle, they have been given the gift to, to put these scriptures together so that way you can get this message, you know, to so that way you can understand that we are living in these end times, that, that we all need to repent and we all need to come back to the Father, okay? Verse 24, yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Unto, unto you first God, having raised up his son Yahabashai, sent him to bless you and turning away every one of you from his iniquities. Okay? So, hopefully now you understand why you should give a heck about the 12 tribes of Israel, especially if you are a Negro, Latino, and Native Indian. And for you other nations out there that may have stumbled upon this video, now you understand why it is so important to to uh, to hold these people, these Negro, Latino, Native Indians, to hold us in our high esteem, man. Because you know you're not just dealing with some, you know, some some uh, you know so-called Negro, some so-called uh, Mexican, some so-called Indian, man. No, you are speaking and dealing with the children that the Lord has set up and has made, uh, you know, a special people above everybody upon the earth, man, right? You are speaking to the to the true rulers of the earth, right? In righteousness, okay? So hopefully this video was edifying, Akim. Until the next time, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rukhah, Kodash, the honors of my teachers, the apostles and elders, the great millstone, peace and mercy to the elect, Shalom.